Alright, so welcome back here, everybody. And now, after I have gone in and uh, refined some of our facial weights to the point where I like them, I think we're ready to go ahead and start doing some of our um, pose blend shape information here. Um, and we'll go ahead and start off with the eyes here. And you can see right away where our eyes aren't necessarily posed. Um, this is the primary shape that would be like the default shape so what I want to go ahead and do is I want to first um, work on the eyes here and add the, the shapes for the eyes but I don't want to add them on the the head control I want to add them on the eyes um, main control specifically because this way whenever you're moving your eye you're going to also have the the ability to go ahead and blink and do whatever else that you want to do on the eyes here so let's go ahead and add some attributes here for the eyes that we're going to go ahead and need so we're going to come up here to modify add attribute and we're just going to make these float um, float controls this way we're going to have um, have the ability to go from 0 to 10 so the first one here is going to be um, well we're going to go ahead and do an enumerated value first because I'm just simply simply going to go ahead and lock this okay so we're going to call this the eyes shape controls okay and I'm just gonna go ahead and rename here green to controls and I'll just go ahead and delete the blue go ahead and add that and you can see that it's gonna add the eye shape controls here over on the right hand side so I'm just gonna go ahead and lock this just so that it's highlighted that highlighted and then everything underneath of it you're gonna have the ability to go ahead and um, animate and change whatever way that you want so let's start off here with the left eye blink okay we'll go from 0 10 defaults gonna be 0 so we'll go ahead and add that go ahead the right eye blink go ahead and add 0 10 0 okay so now we're gonna have that ability and then we're gonna put in both blink okay we'll go from 0 10 0 now uh, put an enumerated value in here and we'll go eyes wide controls okay so we'll just change the green here to controls okay change the blue here to just simply delete it so that there's nothing there go ahead and add that we'll just simply lock the selected for that as well go back to our float value and we'll call this left uh, left eye wide go 0 10 0 go right eye wide oops not uh, there we go 0 10 0 okay so now you understand that um, you can always add more controls on top of this but I'm only doing this for these two simply because it's gonna be much easier for me to go ahead and do this okay so first thing I wanna go ahead and do now is let me just try and get around here I don't wanna be able to select the the eye control here but that's that's fine um, we're gonna need it anyway so let's just go here to set driven key set we're gonna load the eyes main here is our driver control Okay, first going to go ahead and load the um, left upper lid FC as our driven control. We're going to be keying it in the translate X, Y, and Z. Take the left eye blink. We'll go ahead and key that. Okay, we're going to change our left eye blink here to 10. Come down here. Just select our left eye upper C, uh, FC. We'll go ahead and adjust this go ahead and key that and then we'll come back here and check to make sure that that works okay now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here for the right eye so we'll load that as the driven go ahead and trans um, key it in the translate X Y and Z so let's go ahead and key that come back here to our uh, right eye main change that to 10 let's go ahead and select our FC controller bring this down so that we can get that where we want we'll go ahead and key that so now let's take our right eye blink and select them both 
Okay, so he has a quick blink there. So we'll leave those where they are. Okay. Select our left eye, just make or our eyes main, making sure that there's no information here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and reload that as our driven. Take both blink. Oops, I'm sorry. And we're gonna reload both of these into the driven command and we're going to be um, keying them in the X, Y, and Z axis. Okay, so since both blinks here are open, we'll go ahead and key that. Come here to our um, CCI's main, change both blinks to 10. Just making sure that we select these and we will come down and set these real quick. Okay, so we'll go ahead and key those. So now our both blank works as well as our single eye for our left and our single eye for our right work. And we also now want to go ahead and do our controls for our left eye wide and our right eye wide. And I'm actually going to have to add a, another control here or another attribute so that we have both eyes wide. So the minimum is going to be zero, the max is going to be ten, the default is going to be zero. Okay. So let's go ahead here and use our CCI's main, our left eye wide. We'll go ahead and reload our left eye as the driven object. Translate X, Y, and Z. But I also want to do it for the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and load the driven here, both in X, Y, and Z. And we'll go ahead and key this for our left eyes wide. Okay, come back here to our eyes main, left eye wide, just middle mouse and drag to where you get 10. Okay, we'll go ahead and select both of these. And we'll just select this first one and open it wide. Select the other one wide. Go ahead and key that. So let's check, check to make sure that it works. As you can see there. Okay, do the same thing here for the right side. Load those as the driven. Right eye wide, we'll go ahead and key the translate X, Y, and Z here. Okay, so now we'll come back here and change our eyes main and our right eye wide to 10. And we will go ahead and select these two just open them up here. We can extremely wide. We'll go ahead and key that, making sure that this works as well. Okay. So now we just need to go ahead and keep both eyes wide here. So we're just going to reload the um, eyes main control here is our driven object and we're going to go ahead and key our both eyes wide okay so we need to just do one at a time so we'll go ahead and key this one go ahead and key this one okay come back here and change the eyes main left and right to 10 change the eyes main both eyes to 10 and we'll go ahead and key that so I got to do that for the left eye um, for the left eye wide just making sure that that's at 10 so now let's go ahead and move these back down and check this to make sure that that work uh, that actually didn't work so we just need to go ahead and break the connections on that so you'll just basically have to do the same thing here just select the eyes main and the left eye top and the left eye bottom. Go ahead and load that as the driven. Okay, doing it for the both eyes wide. Go ahead and key that. Take the eyes main, both eyes wide, set it to 10. Just select these two. And go ahead and open that there. 
go ahead and key that. Take the eyes main, take it back down to zero. Reload the the right eyes control. Translate X, Y, and Z. Go ahead and key that. Take our eyes main, our right eyes wide. And we just need to go ahead and open these to where we want them. Again. Okay. Go ahead and key that. Let's go ahead and check to make sure that both of these now work. As you can see there. Also make sure that our left eye works. Our right eye works. Both blinks work. And there are our expressions on our eyes. Okay, so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and we will begin the process of working through what is the Anzaman face panel. Let me go ahead and just show you what that guy what that is. We're gonna use this to um, set up some of our initial shapes. I'm not gonna go ahead and set up a whole say like a thousand of them. Uh, I'll walk you through creating like the general ones, um, maybe 10, maybe 12 of them. And that way, that'll you would be using that to initially block out your animation. And then once you block out your animation, you can also go ahead and come back in and refine your shapes through animating these control curves. Um, so in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and come back and we'll start, or I'll show you how to go ahead and set that up. And then we'll uh, pretty much call it an end for the tutorial. So uh, yeah, come on back and continue watching.